Okay, I wanted to do a video um, addressing what Obama is and what Obama isn't. Uh, and to address a few areas of opportunity that I think have opened up to Republicans that the Democrats aren't paying attention to. Um, for one thing, Obama is not a socialist. A lot of people try to say he is. Of course, the definition of socialism has been reworked uh, by the media to where it doesn't even mean what it originally was. Uh, the proof that Obama is not a socialist is very simple. A socialist would not bail out the banks like Obama did. Uh, they would not, a socialist would not bail out GM and allow GM to maintain ownership of itself. Uh, the core uh, ideal behind socialism is to put the power into the hands of the workers, the common workers, the common people, uh, to put the power and control over the means of production into the hands of the common people. You don't do that by taking taxpayer money and giving it to large corporations and large banks. That's, that's just not socialism. Uh, another thing, uh, lots of people say that Obama's an atheist. They say that he is a secret Muslim. Uh, and they also say that he is a Satanist. Okay, well you can't be all of those. Oh, they also say that he went to a Baptist church and where the preacher said all sorts of horrible things about white people. So he's a racist Baptist, an atheist, a secret Muslim, and a Satanist. Well, you can't be all of those at one time. Um, if it was up to me, I would probably, if I had to guess, I would say that he's probably a, an agnostic disguised as a Baptist. Uh, just, I don't really think uh, he is a Christian. But I think, you know, of course, you can't be a politician in this country without being a Christian. Otherwise, you, you know, you're liable to get lynched or something. So, that's another thing that uh, I think is just utter bullshit. He can't be all of those at once. Uh, and then, of course, there's, oh, he's... You know, people say he's a socialist. He's not a socialist. He's a corporatist. Uh, he is firmly uh, in full favor of maintaining the corporate powers that run our country, that own our legislators and everybody throughout our entire government. So, he's not a socialist either, and he's definitely not a communist, because that goes even further away from having corporations controlling your government. Uh, so all that's pretty much just utter bullshit. Uh, now, on the other hand, uh, they try to say that, uh, Republicans try to say that, uh, Obama is against the military. He wants to tear apart our military and, you know, make it to where we're susceptible to attacks by the enemy and all this. But it, if what Obama has done is any sign of his attitudes towards the military, uh, he has to be pretty much a warmonger. Uh, who invests a lot of money into military, especially high-tech stuff like drones and all that. Uh, we're at war, unofficial war, with multiple, multiple countries now. 
that we weren't in when Bush was in office. So that's kind of a, a bunch of crap too. But this is kind of where these opportunities come up. Uh, Democrats are unable to admit to themselves that Obama is basically a Democrat in Bush clothing. Uh, they keep trying to tell themselves that, oh, he's, you know, this great humanitarian that's anti-war and he does all this and that. Well, it's just not true. I really wish it was. Uh, but this opens an area of opportunity for Republicans to really call out stuff like with all these drone attacks, all these children. I mean, 170 children have been killed by drone attacks under Obama. That's something that if, if Republicans were to zero in on, they could exploit, but they would have to redo a lot of their talking points that they feed to their base. Uh, as usual, you know, they push, you know, the pro-war stance. We need to kill them before they kill us. And who cares if it's a bunch of, you know, poor brown people off in a faraway country. Let's just nuke them and make a glass parking lot. Uh, if they could back away from that and find a middle ground which is going to be nearly impossible, but if they did, they could really, really make Democrats in general, and especially Obama, look really bad in front of uh, the U.S. populace. Now, I don't think that's going to happen, but then I didn't think that we would see a filibuster over the use of drones on American citizens either. Uh, granted, it took a libertarian to do that, but there were a lot of Republicans that jumped all over that. You know, of course, any opportunity to make a stab at uh, the Democrats, or especially Obama, they're going to jump on. But they have, some of them anyway, have really jumped on the bandwagon against the use of drones uh, as of the other night. Uh, and with that, they saw a real upsurgence in popularity with the populace in general that wasn't there before that they had lost. And uh, I know it won't happen, but I think it would be kind of funny if uh, with the Republicans pulling all the Democrats to lean further and further to the right, uh, to get behind all these crazy warmongering uh, initiatives if they shifted gears and suddenly went to the left of Democrats uh, they could they could possibly win some serious elections because that's that's pretty much where the American populace lies whether they know it or not there are many Republicans that believe uh, that the, ri the rich should pay more taxes. Uh, there are lots of retirees, devout Republicans that voted for Romney, but they didn't want to lose their Medicare. So it would be kind of funny, I think, to see the Republicans try to out-Democrat the Democrats while the Democrats are trying to out-Republican the Republicans. I mean, that's pretty much what we saw during the uh, presidential debates. Romney and Ryan were basically pleading with the public uh, to believe that they endorsed all these Democratic ideals uh, that they were totally vilifying just three months earlier. And at the same time, Obama was falling all over himself trying to sell the fact that uh, he was as pro-war as possible and was willing to invade anybody to uh, protect Israel. 
or to do Israel's bidding, actually. But, uh, so, I don't know, it's going to be an interesting couple years. Hopefully, uh, we won't see the uh, social safety net gutted too much, so that way I'll be able to stick around and uh, get to see what happens. But, uh, anyway, thank you for listening. Uh, share your comments, whatever. Uh, I appreciate it. Y'all take care of yourselves.